Hello. Well, today I want to just sort of uh, give an update of sorts, as I sort of mentioned in terms of like the Blu-rays and DVD uh, that I've gotten throughout the summer. Finally, um, the Blu-ray I ordered had finally arrived. Um, it did uh, show up a bit later than expected, but also earlier when I realized but when exactly they said the, like the sender because it was bought like eBay when they said it would uh, uh, be arriving here um, um, I will get to that at the near the end of the this video but uh, I do have some Criterion films I got throughout the summer, not too many, uh, because, you know, even during its, like, you know, 50% off sale, there's only so much going, at least I can get, you know, like, a couple here and there, like, two or three films. Occasionally, very rarely, I get four, but, you know, I don't get a whole lot, because, you know, uh, while I would love to just be able to spend as much money as I could on Criterion films, at the same time, you know, they are fairly expensive, and uh, yeah, I get them here and there occasionally. Um, also, on the note, uh, as of me recording this, they announced the, uh, the first six uh, 4K Blu-rays are going to announce, uh, release uh, for Criterion, which sounds uh, pretty cool. Um, Still August, obviously, when I'm filming this, so here, there you go, there's uh, September. Uh, but, yeah, uh, you know, they're going to release uh, 4K uh, Blu-rays. Uh, I know there have been people who have wanted and wondered when, if ever, Criterion would ever go 4K instead of just having 4K transfers onto Blu-ray discs. Finally, they will. Uh, it seems like, uh, from everything, uh, November, um, which would also coincide with uh, Barnes & Noble and their 50% off sale. So that could be complete coincidence, or perhaps it was sort of strategically planned you know, for those who like to have the 50% off stuff uh, during uh, like Barnes & Noble's stuff. You can uh, go to the stores or buy online. Uh, and the very first film uh, will be uh, Citizen Kane. Uh, you know, Citizen Kane will be amongst the very first 4K Criterion titles. And I think it's very appropriate considering that was the very first film Criterion ever released uh, way back on Laserdisc. And being the very first uh, film they released on 4K Blu-ray, um, you know, what is said to be the greatest film of all time, you know, um, and also it being the 70th anniversary and also that film having a uh, theatrical release uh, in September, this month you were watching it, um, this video, which I will see, uh, this month, and uh, I'll likely talk about uh, the experience of watching that. Um, but, you know, just wanted to uh, mention that just before getting into this uh, thing. I'm not going to, again, not talk a whole lot about these movies. Um, I have seen all of them, so it's not like I've accumulated all these throughout the summer, and I've watched uh, some or most or half but not the rest for whatever reason I have watched all of them um, I may talk about all of them at some point either the near future or future uh, just depends on what I'm not only in the mood for but uh, if I think it would be really worth talking about either this year or next whenever um, and so the first uh, film it will be from the Criterion stuff that I got and that is Broadcast news. Um, 
This is a film that I had seen years ago on television. Really enjoyed it. Uh, great cast and uh, people who made it, you know, stars William Hurt, Albert Brooks, Holly Hunter. Written, directed, and produced by James L. Brooks. Great film. Uh, still, all these years later, I still think it's great. Um, I saw it on TV, as I said, and uh, I just loved it. It was, it was quite funny at so many places, and um, you know, quite dramatic when you know there needs to be drama. Um, Jack Nicholson is also in this film. But he is not at all listed on the back or was really on any of the posters. Of course, when you get the, have the little booklet, you can find his name. But he, it was at like Jack Nicholson's request, he does not, you know, uh, appear on the promotional stuff. So, you know, if you get this film and then you see Jack Nicholson, you know, that is why. Um, and so another Criterion title... Inside Lewin Davis, um, I have this uh, also. Um, actually, I'll just uh, be right back one moment. But yeah, uh, sorry. I probably put it somewhere on there, but I don't want to be away too long. But yeah, uh, I had this on Blu-ray before. Um, upgraded to the Criterion version because it had everything the previous uh, uh, Blu-ray had. Plus, it has a lot more. And uh, this is a great film. And I actually wanted to get this a lot earlier, like last year or two. But every time, like it was usually around the uh, Barnes and Noble sales, and for whatever reason, it was always around that time. I would even think about uh, this film. You know, Criterion released this film. And, um, yeah, uh, for whatever reason, it was always around the Barnes & Noble 50% off sale. Kept, uh, I kept, uh, for whatever reason, never really thinking about it anytime Criterion had their own sale, uh, or any other new movies were coming out, and, you know, some years had gone on that this would have dropped in price a little bit. Um, but I finally got it, obviously, and, uh, also another problem is whenever I would look at the Barnes & Noble is they, for whatever reason, would always be out of stock for whatever reason, you know, it wasn't that Criterion lost the rights and could no longer produce this for whatever reason at Barnes & Noble for a while, it was like they had no, they didn't have any at all. Like, if you went to the store, perhaps, you might have a copy there. But if you were to order online, there was none. Why? I don't know. Never found the answer out, but finally got it. And I uh, watched it and all the extras. And this is a great set. Um, apologies again for leaving, but I thought it'd be kind of cool to sort of... Uh, uh, you know, compare the uh, original Blu-ray with this, but uh, I, I don't know where exactly I put it at the at the moment. I I'm usually very organized, but I have been also moving because of the new stuff, so I, it's very likely I might have accidentally misplaced it uh, for the time being. But anyway, uh, got this version. Uh, it's great. Um, and the last Criterion film is uh, The Grand Budapest Hotel. And here is the original Blu-ray. You see, I, I was able to find this very easily. Um, did not misplace this. This has everything this had, plus more. Uh, the bonus features are excellent just as the film is. The film is fantastic. Uh, it's hilarious. To me, it's the... It's my favorite uh, Wes Anderson film. Whether you would think this is the very best film he's ever made, 
will, you know, vary. Um, I think it's a very good contender for the best film he's made. You know, if it's not uh, the number one, in my opinion, like the best film he's made, it would be at least in the top three, I would say. Um, but that's me. Uh, so that does it for the Criterion uh, releases I got. And uh, here is a Shout Factory that uh, film that I had got on, on eBay also earlier. And that is Fargo, the 20th anniversary. Um, now, I had actually seen, I actually watched this film on the big screen this year, because it's 25 years old now. And I had never actually owned this film on Blu-ray before, so that's another reason I wanted to get it. Um, but the Blu-ray um, is basically the DVD, but, you know, high definition. And uh, it's just great. It was it was great to see on the big screen, and I actually hope to talk about this soon for its 25th anniversary, uh, honestly. But, yeah, it was at a very affordable price on eBay. It was brand new, never opened, so that's another reason I got it, especially since the pricing was actually quite reasonable for an unopened uh, release. That's about, like, five, four years old or so, whenever... Uh, this was exactly released would be 2016 was the 20th so but this is 2017 so perhaps they meant to release it earlier but for whatever reason so yeah for a four-year-old film uh blu-ray that hadn't been opened it was at a very decent price and uh it's in good condition film works well all the special features work well so no complaints everything was good and now for the only DVD I got, um, I would have gotten the Blu-ray, but uh, I was at Target and I got a, some films and uh, it was a, it was a, a very cheap. It was five dollars, and I had seen this before, but realized I never bought the film. I don't know why, um, but the movie is uh, Tommy Boy. Um, you know, Chris Farley and David Spade. Bo Derek, Brian Dennehy, and um, Rob Lowe was in the film, though he doesn't get credit at, a, at like his request. Dan Aykroyd is also in this film. It's hilarious. Um, it's a great film. Uh, it's a classic film. Um, don't know if I would say it's a cult classic, but you know, definitely a classic film. One of the best known and beloved Chris Farley films. He made some other movies as like the lead, some of which didn't do very well, but the box office or critic, critically, this film I know got like mixed reviews. But uh, I want to say it could be like considered a cult classic just due to how uh, it has been received as time has gone on. Um, I did fine at the box office, I know that. Um, don't want to necessarily say it was a box office hit, but it did a it did a, did decent business for uh, for the time, you know, ninety five. Excellent film, hilarious. Um, one day I might get the Blu Ray. I believe there is a Blu Ray, um, but this was five dollars, and I thought I, I uh, to just pass this up. Uh, would be kind of ridiculous. Um, I had seen this at my grandparents before uh, quite a bit. Um, as with the next movie or two, well, not quite, um, but we'll get to that one. Um, but yeah, this is a, an excellent film. Love it. Uh, I'm glad I, uh, I finally got it. Now, this movie, it wasn't something I've watched with my grandparents, but um, this is a three film pack. Um, the uh, Kong Skull Island, Godzilla, King of the Monsters, and Godzilla vs. Kong. Watched all these films throughout this summer. They're all excellent films. Um, I had seen the uh, Godzilla film from 2014. It's actually released on my birthday when I turned 20. So I saw that. 
and then I saw these three uh, now. I never saw any of these on, in the theater. Um, just, uh, I don't know why. Uh, I knew they were doing some sort of uh, universe to where eventually Godzilla and King Kong would fight. I don't know why, I just didn't watch the other two, or the other three films. Um, but I finally saw them all, and they're all very entertaining. Um, I know, obviously, there are people who aren't fond of the new Godzilla films, or even the new Kong film. But for what they are, they're very entertaining. They're all within two hours, so... Godzilla King of Monsters is well, over two and a half, but uh, Kong Skull Island and Godzilla vs. Kong are under two hours. Um, so there you go, you know, you, anywhere from two to two and a half hours. And if you like, uh, if you like Godzilla and King Kong, and you haven't seen these, I think uh, maybe worth a watch, um, regardless if you like actually like them or not. I'm sure they're probably on HBO Max, so if you have a subscription there, you can watch it before you would buy the Blu-rays. Um, this was also at a very affordable price, so I thought it would be kind of stupid to not get this. Um, same with uh, Tommy Boy. So, got that. And then also, uh, I also got this at the same time as those other two. Is, which is uh, the 35th anniversary of Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Now, this is the movie I saw with my grandparents quite a bit also, and for whatever reason, never bought. I don't know why I never bought the DVD, just like I don't know why I waited until now to buy the Tommy Boy DVD. But this was uh, very affordable, especially because it's a steel book. It's also at Target. You don't really see steel books at Target. Usually nowadays, it's uh, you know, at Best Buy, at least here in America. So I kind of thought it, it was at a very good price. In fact, uh, especially considering it's also a steel book, um, it was pretty much quite a steal, really. To uh, you know, they like to have steel books be a bit pricier. Especially now with 4K, and they pair the 4K and the Blu-ray discs in the Steelbooks now, which isn't bad. Um, you know, kind of makes it a bit more special. But excellent film, uh, hilarious, and um, this is a, a film I have already talked about this year. The first brand new movie that came out this year. I saw Maltese Falcon beforehand, but uh, I got uh, this summer. Nobody. Um, really love this film. S rewatched it quite a bit uh, throughout this summer. Bob Odenkirk is awesome. He's great in this. Gr makes a really great action uh, uh, actor. And. Uh, Christopher Lloyd's also great in it. Um, you know, um, also has a uh, Riza from Wu Tang Clan and uh, Connie Nielsen. Uh, just a great film uh, all around. Um, Bob Odenkirk uh, had him uh, like a minor, mild heart, heart attack or so earlier. He's doing well, which is good. I'm glad he's doing fine and healthy. Um, but yeah. He's finishing up Better Call Saul. And he hopes to do a sequel to this. And um, I know initially I said when I saw the film, you know, if this is a one-off, that'd be great. Um, but having rewatched it... Um, Throughout the summer, here and there, the idea of a sequel has actually war uh, warmed up to me. Like the idea isn't like you know, uh, do we really need this to be a franchise? Um, but but you know, it was it was really good. Um, 
and that that idea has grown on me since. Um, still, I think if this was just a one-off and no sequel ever happened, but it was left up in your mind of what to, what would happen later, um, I think that would still be just great, and the film would be incredible. Um, but if they're able to build off from this film, able to make a, a sequel that you know is really worth making and seeing, I say go for it. Um, especially if uh, Bob Odenkirk and everyone else involved is for it. Um, I, I, I actually think that this that would be that would not be a bad thing, really. And uh, now is for the last two films. Um, the first one is this uh, movie that took a while to get here, but is finally here. And um, I've already talked about this film before, pretty sure, a few years ago. Um, I can double check, but if not, I can definitely make one. Um, and that is A Quiet Place. Uh, this is the Steelbook with a 4K Blu-ray disc and a normal Blu-ray. Um, again, I have the normal one, but now I don't want to go over and get that over there um but because i don't want to be away again um just a thought i had but anyway uh, got this not that long ago this was also brand new wrapped hadn't been uh, open and um yeah this was a uh, Last year this came out, but unfortunately it was like a limited time and I wasn't able to get it in time because of, you know, various things going on last year and when it was able to get out to Best Buy for whatever reason, because this was at Best Buy, they sold this, but I just wasn't able to get there and when I did, I just didn't think of it as like some other new movies. Um, finally got the Steel Book, which I did want when they, uh, it and it's great and and uh, there's that so uh, yeah this is a great film um, still my favorite film of 2018 um, that was the thing I, I often thought this was the best film of 2018 um, interestingly this got nominated for like best sound editing and people joke like this is called a quiet place and it got, gets nominated for best sound editing like anything with sound you would have thought that's shouldn't really be uh, uh, considered for like an award that's kind of funny and humorous. Um, so yeah, got this, something I've wanted for a while now. And it was also very uh, affordable, considering it was also, they don't sell these anymore, or even make them. And it was also brand new and wrapped. This was a, uh, an excellent, uh, this is an excellent film and a great release. And finally, this is the sequel to A Quiet Place, A Quiet Place Part 2. I saw this in the theater, and uh, it's a great film. It's truly excellent. Continues off from the first one very well. Builds off of... Um, <clears throat> it's it's world building is great. And um, with... Uh, John Krasinski, not just being the co-writer, now like he was in the first film, and also he was an executive producer in the first film, and also like the lead, and the, and like, you know, the star and everything of that. But now he's just a full-blown solo um, writer, so the director, again, of course, and now just a producer, not just, like, not an executive producer. And, uh, in this also um, 
And you know, uh, yes, uh, this is a great film, and um, and I'm, I'm really happy to have uh, both of these uh, now on steel book. It's sort of like does it make this one just being alone look odd or weird or anything like? You know, sometimes how you have something like like be inconsistent of sorts when you have like one or two that are steel book and then there's like one that wasn't for whatever reason sometimes things like that can be odd but also the the look and also the fact that they they, they come in 4k um blu-ray discs i think is also uh, worth it because you know the picture and sound quality will look uh fantastic um so that is really all I have uh, to say uh, in terms of show or show you. Um, I enjoy all these films, um, um, some more than others, but you know they're all enjoyable, and that's always the important thing when one uh, gets films, uh, gets any movie, like buys a DVD or Blu-ray. It's important to like the film, or at the very least. Uh, if it's part of a series of films or something of that nature, it's important to like said franchise, such as the Kong and Godzilla uh, pack. Um, I enjoy those kind of films. You know, they're fun, uh, entertaining. Within like you, two two and a half hours, you know, you can you can just have fun watching them. Don't have to think uh, really too much. And yeah, they're really fun. Uh, all these are excellent films. And uh, yeah, I'd be curious to see if you guys got any uh, uh, Blu-rays or DVDs uh, throughout this summer. And if so, uh, uh, what did you get? Uh, any in particular you were really excited about getting? Or any you were just sort of uh, curious about? Like a film that you hadn't seen or might have heard some good stuff about and then uh, bought it and watched it and you know hopefully liked it um, if so you can always leave a uh, leave a comment uh, if you want and with that I will uh, bid you farewell and I hope you all have a great day have a great weekend and a great week and I'll see you next time